Alrighty guys, today we are going to look at this um, ISDT BatGo. Uh, this is a kind of really cool product I've seen and I wanted to get it and, and play around with it. So it is a um, LiPo checker. It checks the overall voltage. It checks each individual cell voltage. But this can also do uh, balance charging or at least just do balancing on the... Um, on the individual cells you can also use this as a uh, power hub where you plug a lipo battery into it and then use a usb cable to charge like your phone goggles small airplanes you know things like that off your main battery um, the other thing you can do with it is you can test to see if your receiver is actually getting signal through a channel um, I believe it works with SBUS and PWM uh, signals. So let's go ahead and open it up here and take a look at it. So when we open it up here, we have the standard stickers that get sent with their stuff. We have a little pamphlet here. Um, it looks like we also get a cover for the screen to help protect it. Let's go ahead and dump this out here. So, if you notice here, it says warning before plug in. Before you plug it in, you know, uh, make sure the voltages and stuff are right. Um, don't mess around with LiPo batteries, guys. Just you know, be careful with them. They are a fire hazard um, if you don't treat them correctly. So, taking a look at the front here, um, I'll take this sticker off here in a second. But we got three buttons: up, select, and down got the main screen there on this end we have the XT60 connector with the balance ports on the back just a little barcode there on this side we have a USB um, plug here where you can plug your phone and stuff in and do the charging we also have this little USB port here so you can go ahead and do firmware updates on it as they come out um, nothing much on the front and for the back not much there I like how it's slightly tilted so you can kind of see it's not you know completely flat but it's also not up too high um, it's very compact in size not really that big um, easy to stick in your pocket and take to the field with you put in a backpack um, we can kind of see here um, you know kind of give you an idea how big it is there and from there all right so let me uh let me take this off and we'll take a closer look at it all right well i'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this but i just took this out of the box as you just saw um i haven't really done much with it and there's already little scratches on it i think we're maybe from factory i don't know maybe if this was previously open it did it was a uh, in the box and the box did have like heat shrink wrapping over it um but yeah there is slight markings on the screen already so might be a good idea to put put the screen cover on that they sent but even that has um maybe some oh, it's just just a little bit of dirt there but yeah like that mark right there oh well well it's not for the price I paid, yeah, but I would like to see it come without the marks on the screen. Maybe it was just my unit. Um, everybody I've seen online didn't seem to complain about that. Maybe I'm being too picky. but All right, so let's go ahead and get a LiPo battery here and plug it in and see, see what it does. Alrighty, so I have this Turnigy, uh three-cell battery here, and I got it plugged in. If we look here, um, it tells us what the total voltage is up there. Um, it tells us uh, how many volts, or in this case, millivolts, is between the highest and lowest cell. Um, so that's pretty close, but we'll see if we can get it closer. It tells us that it's a 3S, and it tells us that it's about 75% charged. Really nice to know that percentage there. Um, sometimes for newer people, it's hard to know what, what the voltage is and how much you have left in it. So let's go ahead and try... Um, See what we got here. So let's start at the top here. So we have options for language there. We can change the backlight brightness a little bit higher there. 
or low. We'll set it for the higher one here. Um, volume, if you don't want those beepings, you can turn them off. I kind of like them. System information just gives you basic information there. Uh, receiver test tester, we'll look into that then. Um, alarm tone. Battery type, it looks like you can do LiPo and the other two there, the lithium li or um, I forget what the other ones are called, but yeah, so that is nice to see there. Oh, there's also one there at the top, so we'll leave it on the LiPo setting. Low voltage alarm, um, you guys can change that. Um, I'll set mine a little bit higher here because I like mine a little bit high. Um, this is where you can start the USB charging, so if you have something plugged in here. You can start that. Um, we can do the cell balancing. Um, and then there's the back button. So let's try cell balancing here. And as we can see here, it's going to start working on that. Now, I'm not sure how it does it. If it uh, takes the voltage from, one, from the high cell and puts it into the low cell until they're kind of even. Or if it just bleeds off all the cells until they're the same um until they're the same voltage I, i'm not sure how it does that i'm not sure how efficient it is in that um but we'll let that run here a little bit it shouldn't take too extremely long um as you can see here it still says the total voltage voltage between the cells the percentage and then now it has the also run time there that it's been working on it um, even though this is very low current mode, I would not leave this unattended. Um, keep an eye on it. Um, should probably still even do it in a LiPo bag. Um, but I'm going to just watch it here. So I will come back to this when it's done. Alrighty. <clears throat> so it just got done. And, um, it's took... 18 minutes 58 seconds um and got it down to within one millivolt now i'm not sure how accurate that would be um i have no way of testing that right now but it's supposedly accurate out to three decimal places so that's kind of cool um all right so now that the cells are balanced as you can see it's now down to 74 percent um and they're nicely balanced across all of them so let's go ahead and try something else here um, I want to test out the USB charging function. So let me go ahead and get my USB cable and stuff plugged in here and we'll give that a try. Alrighty, so I have the USB cable plugged in here and that's going to my uh, glucose meter. Yes, I am type 1 diabetic. So it's always important to have this with me and, you know, if this is going dead, then I should charge it up. If it's to the point where I'm having to do an emergency charge like this out in the field, well then I was neglecting charging it. But right now this battery is low, so let's go ahead and try charging it here. So if we come up here, we should be able to select USB charging and then hit start. And uh, so it does give us some information here. It tells us what voltage charging at, the uh, amps, watts, and the, um, I'm not sure what the... 3.35 volts per cell is I'm guessing that means what each cell is at in the in the lipo battery um, not quite sure but as you can see um, it says that it is charging now um, yeah so that should charge up fairly quickly um, it's charging at 0.2 amps it looks like I'd be curious to see if it can do like a rapid charge um, with like an iPad or a phone or something like that, that that has rapid charging available. I kind of doubt it will, but any charging's better than nothing. So we can just let that run there a little bit, and um, yeah, I'll come back in a few minutes and we can see if it's still if it's still going good. Alrighty, well it's been charging for a little while here, and everything seems to be going good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop that now. So we'll go ahead and hit stop there instantly stops charging it so we'll just go ahead and unplug that um as i mentioned all right so as i mentioned there um is another feature in here yet so if we go back into here 
Um, we go up here to receiver tester. This will allow you to plug a receiver into the balance port and then test your signals coming from your radio. Um, so you would plug this um, with a cable. You can either plug it into like the S bus port um, and see all the channels or if you're using PWM for some reason then you can plug it into each one of the uh, channels uh, and then move your re uh, transmitter uh, channel that's according to that and it will show you a graph one here unfortunately I do not have the cables to do that right now um, I don't know I'll see here if I maybe can get something set up but um, I'm missing a few of the cables for that but yes that is another cool feature there so you can do some troubleshooting with it and see um, and see what's going on I like this from the standpoint that I can check my cells make sure that they're balanced and if they're not balance the cells um, it also tells me quick voltage it allows me to charge things with USB off this easy I do have another way of doing that but this is a whole lot nicer um, and easier to do especially out in the field it's very small compact the screen is easy to read the layouts nice and easy to use um, I'm hoping, I'm going to keep an eye out, but I'm hoping that they release some firmware updates for this that will also include some new features. Um, I could see a lot of different things you can use this for, um, but until then, you know, maybe I'll see if there's like a form or somewhere that you can make suggestions. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more that they can do with this. Alright, so if you guys are interested in getting this, um, I will put a uh, link to it, um, to Banggood, down in the descriptions. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is a great little thing that I think everybody should have in their tool bag. Alrighty guys, well if you enjoyed this quick look at this battery balance um, checker here, then go ahead hit the like button and subscribe i will be doing more videos in the future i have a lot of things coming up here that i'd like to do and uh hopefully this summer i can get out and do some flying as well and get some get some video footage of that Alrighty, guys well until next time y'all have a good day